Hello and welcome back to Choose Joy. I'm Tisa, your host, and today we have another scripture meditation that comes from Proverbs, the first chapter. And as always, I'm excited about this text, but I would love to do a study on the book of Proverbs because they are so encouraging to us in how to easily obtain the wisdom of God that we can apply to each and every situation that we encounter each and every day. So the verses I have for us today come from the first chapter, the first proverb, and I'm going to read verse number seven, and then I'm going to drop down to verse number 29. I have the English Standard Version, and verse number seven reads, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. And down to verse number 29, it says, Because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, would have none of my counsel and despise all of my reproof. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their way and have their feel of their own devices. The word of God for God's people. You wouldn't even hear what Solomon was trying to say. Solomon said, I've got all this wisdom and I can't get you to even hear it. So as we get ready to go to God in prayer, we're going to pray just for that, for his wisdom, so that we can be better than we were yesterday. Isn't that always our goal? That we don't want to leave a situation the same way we came? Why do we go to worship? Why do we do the things we do if it's not to be better than we were yesterday? And when we spend any time with the Lord, we know that wisdom is just acting on what we know. It's okay to know something, but it's not wisdom until we use it, until we do it, until we make our lives better and make the people around us better. So as we get ready to go to God in prayer, let's ask for just that. Let's ask for God's wisdom, that our hearts are changed, that we wake up with a thirst and a hunger for his word, that we want to be exactly what he has called each and every one of us to be. We can change the world with the wisdom of God in our hearts and using it each and every day. Pray this prayer with me. Lord, you are the only wise God, our savior, and we give you all the glory. You are faithful and you, oh God, are able to keep us from falling. Lord, help us to love your wisdom and to allow it to rule in our lives. Let us always do the right thing, the loving thing. Strengthen us, God, and strengthen your spirit in us. When our flesh is weak, when we are drawn to desires that are not of you, Lord, we are trusting in you to make our crooked path straight. That we will not only see your goodness, but we will be your goodness here in the land of the living. It's in the transforming, overcoming name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for praying with me here today at Choose Joy with Tisa. And I am surely praying that you will be better today than you were yesterday. I hope you will share this prayer with a friend. And until next time, I pray that you choose joy.